A very very happy new year to each and every one of you watching what a year it has been and this video is basically reflecting back on 2019 and how I changed to change it for the better in 2020 and what my goals for 2020 will be. Uh, so I just watched Miller 2019 goals but new video which I'd uploaded obviously last year. Thought I'd come back to the exact same place to record this video again. So your video man say there won't be any training all those things so it'll just be about how 2019 was and reflecting on 2020 based on what I said in that video and some of the good memories and some of the things I'm proud of from 2019 I will reflect back on this video. Anyways the first thing that I noticed is my YouTube game has come a long long way which was one of my new year's uh, resolution. I guess that's a tick mark in, in terms of the quality and uh, my consistency on YouTube. I obviously uploaded more videos in 2019 than I did in 2018 so uh, that's that but it only happened in the later half of the year so the earlier time that I could not really comply to most of the things that I said in that video. Uh, but all in all, I'm very proud of how my previous self thought and most of the things that I said in that video still stand very true. So if you haven't watched that video, uh, please go ahead and watch the video. Forgive the quality and the audio in that video, but uh, that's not the point why I make these videos. So Since I don't write a script or I prepare for uh, making YouTube videos, all these videos are very impromptu. I just think, hey, as a video, normally, I know which is not a good Thing to do if you want to be a good youtuber but that's what i do and there could be some things that just slip out of my mind so the first thing in 2019 was moving to thailand to do my master's degree uh, which still hasn't finished so but moving to thailand was a very big step for me especially because i've never lived all by myself hostel but uh, living alone is a completely different experience i got to learn a lot of things, little things that I always taken for granted living in Kathmandu, I learned there. Things like saving, things like groceries, cleaning the house, managing time, managing all those things, managing other variables, got no problems, uh, all those things I'd never experienced in Kathmandu to be honest. So I'm proud of myself that I can now live by myself. I can cook, I can eat, I can, uh, you know, I can manage time better than what I was doing before. I've become more productive in general. So that was the biggest step because like the entire last year I lived in Bangkok, traveled by myself, all those things. So uh, that was a big step for me. It could, it may not sound like it's a big thing for some other people who have already been there like a long time back. But for me that I felt like it was a big learning experience for me. To talk about learning, one of my other goals was to learn more, do more, be more, become a better person. I mean, learn more because I said in that video, the day you stop uh, learning is the day you start going down and the day you know you feel like the day you feel like you know everything is the day your progress stops so that I still hold very true to that statement and 2019 obviously master's degree matha I learned a lot about business learned a lot about life in general so but other than that I said I would go to more powerlifting seminars read more powerlifting books try to meet more uh, people who are at a much higher level than where I am so I can uh, strive to become better and then eventually be at the level that I want to be. I got to meet uh, Bryce Lewis. So Bryce Lewis is the world champion in the one of five kgs IPF. So we got along pretty well to be honest and then for three four days we were just hanging out and like we were talking and then that's how we learned. So Bryce Lewis helped me bench press a ton uh, which was one of my goals. So bench press game has also come up so that's that's a very good thing. Learned a lot of little things about mindset and then uh, programming, technique, little things that add up to become a lot. So that's that. Uh, I took the powerlifting level one uh, certificate with Bryce Lewis himself. So that was a big step again. I went to Clinton Lee. So Clinton is the IPF Asian champion in the 74 kg. And then overall in uh, Asia, I went to a squat seminar and then met him a couple of times in competition. So uh, learned a lot of little things from him as well, uh, mostly about technique because he's, I think, one of the most technical lifters in the IPF and in the world in general, to be honest. So learned a lot of little things from Clinton as well. So the learning part is also a tick mark. Uh, other than that, I said I would want to compete at an international stage. Uh, so I finally competed outside of Nepal after powerlifting for about three years. So uh, that's another step because I always felt like I was not strong enough. So 2019 was the year I finally felt like I could potentially do some damage, do some uh, win some medals. So I ended up winning the Thai Thailand national 
qualifiers, which I'm qualified for the national championship, which is in about uh, five weeks. So that was winning that competition was another very memorable uh, memory in 2019. Sansano little PRs, I made a lot of PRs in the bench press squad, deadlift, just a cool art that I don't want to uh, talk much about in this video. In terms, any orco thing that I talked about was doing more uh, seminars, doing more coaching, all those things. My Lebanese, Bhane got because last year more more Daira Sukhadev Dai we started uh, a small team and we started doing more seminars. But uh, since I was not in Kathmandu, uh, since I was not in Nepal, so I couldn't join them in their uh, seminars and all those things. But one of the things that was the highlight of 2019 was Mara Neha. We were invited to Bhutan to teach some trainers there. And then we were there, we were in Bhutan for about five days. So we uh, trained a bunch of trainers. But other than that, it was a very, very big trip for me because uh, we got to meet the Prime Minister of Bhutan. We got to meet Her Majesty, the Queen of Bhutan. And we were basically, we were uh, we appeared on national television in Bhutan. And we were basically uh, small celebrities for a few days. We met a lot of uh, local celebrities in Bhutan as well. So that was quite an achievement. And I will remember that for for a long, long time. Coaching, uh, like 2019, I have taken up a lot more online coaching that I have in uh, 2018. I felt like I didn't want to take too many coaching because I want to give them more time. But uh, this year, I've like I said, I've become a better person in terms of time management. So I've taken up quite a lot of clients. But I realize I'm on a halt. I'm not taking any more uh, clients at the moment unless somebody drops out and then at the same time somebody asks me so 2020 go goals for the later half will be to expand you know, online coaching services too because my master's degree is and i'll have a little bit of more free time so yeah so that's the goal for 2020 <clears throat> other than that it's been a very very productive year i've done my best in terms of training i've ever done i've done the best in terms of dieting i've done the the best in terms of living living as the person I eventually want to become and to be honest I am not the person who sets New Year's resolutions as Tauti because like one year is a very very long long time to have specific goals about my life. gym down to the motivation sign dinner so that won't be uh, I made a New Year's resolution which is the most common New Year's resolution yeah other than that to be honest to 2019 video my mother did say when I things I just want to do better yeah, so that's basically it. 2019 was a very, very good year, very productive year for me. I, mean, I hope 2020, I can sit here and then make this video and then talk about uh, talk about my 2021 ko goal and how proud I, I was of myself in 2020 and uh, taking big steps. Abo yo year powerlifting, I'll be taking bigger steps. National championship, so obviously my goal is to win that. Uh, this was the national champion, but then I can represent in the international stage. So uh, those are uh, goals, but I will obviously be documenting my uh, journey along the way. And my style is more like breaking up my goals into more manageable pieces. And since I know goals, I do it a lot of times. So that's my style. So big to my broad goal, I cannot have. But in general, everything that I said in 2019 and everything that I said in this video, so with that being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. Again, happy new year to each and every one of you watching. Uh, stay tuned because this year I'm going to be very, very active on YouTube, Instagram, my Orko channel, Banja Samaya Banera, which more on Nihako channel. So that channel Mabani will be a lot of updates. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you all so much for watching. And then I will see you all on Sunday.